Hello, Mark here. How are we? Good, 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 good. Now then, gonna do a bit of a doodle, have a bit of fun. Been working on commissions for the last few days, been a bit intense, proper art, so I thought we'd have a bit of fun with these, uh, well, what can we call them? Book illustration type drawing pencil sketches. This one actually is just pencil, no color. I might color it at some point, I don't know. But uh, this at the moment, I'm apologizing to you slightly off uh, camera but it will sort itself out in a moment it's one of these sort of uh, live TV moments there we are told you it's uh, kind of difficult to keep an eye on the camera and draw the pictures and uh, of course, I've sat in my armchair doing this. In fact, my broken armchair, my fireside chair, which is now broken, which is in danger of collapse at any time. So if I do suddenly disappear, you know what's happened. My chair's broken. I need a new chair at the moment. I can't get one because of the lockdown. So. We'll have to be patient on that one. Anyway, this is Toad, or my interpretation of Toad. And uh, they're going to be doing a bit of a celebration dance because they just give the weasels a bit of a fashion and set them running from Toad Hall. So everybody's in quite a happy mood, even Grumpy Old Badger. So that's good. So how are we all? You all right? Good. I'm glad because, well, I hope you are anyway. Because it's uh, worrying times for everybody, especially as they're starting to lift the lockdown and, and people, well, some people have been sensible. But it has to be said, some others are not quite sensible. And I just hope it doesn't actually come back and uh, bite them because I, from what I hear and what they say, they're going to be quite vocal if they end up getting this virus. So I'm actually still more or less housebound. Well, I am housebound, but... Uh, Business-wise, it's still sort of all, because I do, well, I do this, but I basically sell my work at craft markets. And, of course, there aren't any. And I only do indoor craft markets because of the nature of what we do. And I have to be honest, I've been doing it for over 20 years. My experience of the the British weather not to be trusted and you only do so many days a year and in theory you could be raining every day so because it's mostly weekends we do do some weekday ones but uh, anyway you're not interested in that but uh, yes so anyway this is Toad, and he's got his very, very, very smart spats on. Because, uh, after all, you know, don't you know, he is sort of a posh fella. Lives in a hall, Toad of Toad Hall. Great big stately home. The squire, so to speak. And uh, even if he is a little bit impetuous, and uh, prone to excesses, but there we are. 
wouldn't we all be in his position? Bit of money in the bank, and it's surprising. Now, this is his friend Mole. One of his friends, Mole. Mole, Mole, Mole. He lives in a hole. But uh, not today, he does it. He's been helping save Toad Hall for the weasels. But uh, these are quite good fun, these little pencil sketches. And because I mean, really, even though these are f f relatively well known characters, these this is my take on them. And that's, from, like I say, quite often from my head to the page. Hence a lot of messing around and erasing and starting again and things like that. Purely and simply because uh, if I was to actually do this as a proper illustration, well, when I say proper illustration, a finished illustration, I should say, this would all be drawn out very roughly to position everybody and their poses. And uh, it would I'd spend a bit of time on it. But uh, just to give you a general idea of how I do the drawings, I thought uh, this is a condensed version, version I should say. It uh, will run out at about 10, 11 minutes because I've actually speeded it up four times normal speed. So we could get it all in, in time. I mean, I haven't done much of the background trees, etc. but then you've seen me do those in other videos because uh, if you look at my YouTube channel, Mark T. Rowe, R-O-W-E, there's several different videos and film clips of the sort of things I do. A lot of this, in all fairness, is being done to amuse people that are going stir crazy for the lockdown. But uh, I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, and I should probably carry on doing it because it is a lot of fun. And it's a way of leaving your work because normally in the old days you just have the finished picture and uh, of course now I could photograph it or scan it onto my computer, make different copies, different sizes, prints for people, cut greeting cards is what I tend to do quite a bit of. In the process of uh, designing and laying out a new catalog of course all these things take time and of course I have to stop now and again and do some work but uh, we've actually gone up to 10 subscribers now which is kind of fun now I don't know if you notice what's going on here that initially was going to be the badger, this drawing. And I realised, in all fairness, that he was too small in comparison to the other characters. So I quickly switched from, if by magic, to turn the badger into Ratty, which is more in line with his size and dimensions. But having said that, it's a comic, cartoony type illustration. So whatever I'd say is right, basically. But anyway, go back to this thing about subscribing. If you want to subscribe, that would be very nice of you. We'd like that. Well, I'd like that very much. It'd be much appreciated. for no other reason than it helps to heighten the profile and 
you will probably get notified when I put new videos and things on, which could be good for you to see, because, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to continue doing these these types of drawings and possibly seri more serious kinds of drawings as well. But although I do quite enjoy this kind of media and this illustration business, I do like it a lot. And uh, I have, over the last few years, been trying to write various books that I've also been trying to illustrate, but of course I get sidetracked, which I know is no excuse, but I do get sidetracked into other things. And uh, I must keep trying to finish a story. Although I understand now it's very difficult to get anything like that published anyway. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Anyway, that's about it for this picture. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, please. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. That's brilliant.